Peel Toast here, back playing some more House Flipper. So this is a first look video at the new Pets DLC. I was very lucky enough to get early access from Frozen District. So yeah, this is going to be like the first 15 minutes of what you're going to see when you play this. There'll be some other videos coming soon. So let's hop right in and have a look. Okay, so this one follows pretty much like the luxury DLC uh, and some of the, H the HDTV and a few others. So there's like a map now. So we've got this third map here uh, and I'm starting off with new one new job. So it's no emails or anything. It's all done through this map system. And here we go. Here's our new, our new area. We have a train going through it. That's pretty cool. So as you can see, this is like a country setting. Um, I'm guessing all of the buildings are here. Yeah, it looks like all of them are on the map, but we just can't click them all straight away. So this is the first one we can click. So yeah, again, continuing this kind of theme of these like characters and stuff that we got in the Luxury DLC. So Stowaway Tenant. So yeah, if you don't know this yet, guys, this is basically all like, I mean, it's still renovations. There's some new mechanics to check out, but there's animals. A few people in the community have been like, why is there animals? But we shall see. There's some like companion things and there's some various different gumping of animals going on. But yeah, we shall see. Ooh, a lot of random water sound. I have sailed the oceans, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro and driven a dog sled in Alaska. But house renovation is not really my thing. I've heard you can do wonders and I want my home to be one. Right now, it's in a worse state than Machu Picchu. It should be something more than just my base camp. A place I can work from, live in, rest, and have fun. Cozy and welcoming. A proper home for me and my bunny. I want him to be happy here too. Let's go out with the old and in with the new. Stowaway Tenant. Right, some slightly dubious and tenuous uh, references there, but hey -oh, we'll crack on. Um, and yeah, the the thing that's cool about these new, this new DLC, oh look at that! There's a butterfly. At all? Can we catch her? Can we can we jump on you? Can we ride on you? Hello? Oh, it's just like oh, there's another one. Yeah, so like we've got this whole of this whole new environment, whole new world, a whole new world, which is all country country myths. Which is cool. But yeah, this like additional ambience. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I think there's like birds and stuff as well. Bees. Obviously you can hear the, the birds singing and there's water down there and stuff. But yeah, it looks pretty cool so far. So yeah, there's like animals um and there's obviously there's the normal kind of renovation stuff. So we're just gonna be probably only looking at the jobs in this first in this first look episode. Um, and one of the other things they've done as well is, so you'll notice that I'm doing like gardeny stuff here. It seems like regardless of whether you've got garden DLC, that they've now kind of incorporated some of these gardening mechanics. So make of that what you will. I guess some people were a fan of the garden DLC. I'm not too much of a fan of it, I have to say. I find some of it just to be a little bit like, yeah, busy work that you just kind of have these things to do that don't really, don't really have any fun to them. Oh, there's a bird up there. Look, there's a big hawk or something up there. Yeah, they're a bit more sort of chore based, I think, with guard, some of the garden bits. But um, we shall see. So we've got some trash out here as well. I have to say, I do like the butterflies. That's definitely a cool kind of slightly more rich thing. Right, so that's the garden done. So let's go inside. Ooh. So yeah, the usual the usual classic oh it's like, fe <laughs> it's like feathers everywhere. Is that a turd? Oh my god. There's like poo and there's wee, there's big puddles of wee. Oh my goodness me. What has gone on in here? I mean, it's always slightly implied that there's like bodily fluid, but now it's literally seems to be pretty much a definite. Right, so I'm assuming, can we just like put, pick this up? Oh, we just picked it up. Just put it in my pocket. That's nice. That's that's pleasant. So yeah, we've got to do some cleaning, clean the dirt. I guess we just 
Maybe we can like broom these as well. Oh yeah, rub it in. Rub it in. Oh, <laughs> it's groody. I'm noticing little footsteps. Are they... Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in from outside. Oh, okay. Well, let's have a look. We'll check that in a second. So let's just get rid of all of the... All the uh, yeah, the fluids. And all of this crap. So it looks like this is a pretty simple job. That's one of the things that hopefully this DLC has changed. Is that... Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I found the, the jobs on Luxury DLC just a little bit too... A little bit too much like hard work. Like, there's a balance. Obviously, there's like a balance to them. You don't want them just to be completely like nothing -y, but you don't want them to be so much of a pain that they take you ages that you just don't bother. Because I don't know about... Yeah, I think most people would probably say that the jobs are the least interesting bit of the game and that largely what we're looking at is the is the renovation stuff but i don't know maybe that's not the case for everybody well let's smush that bad boy into the into the uh, floor there as well and we'll pick this up just because we just because i feel compelled to right so it looks like we've got to buy some stuff down here we've still got some dirt to clean up is that i'm not seeing that on the radar let's go up the stairs because clearly there's some there's some small critter to be discovered up here. Oh, this is the loft from the trailer. Yes, yeah, so if you saw the loft from the trailer, you'd already have kind of seen what's going to be revealed here. But we'll just do these things. Oh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing some some pigeons or something as well. So what's the deal in? Oh, there's a little there's a little puppy. Oh, he doesn't look too well. I can't keep him for Jasper's safety sake. But my good oh, friend well, you want may me figure to do? something out. I'll tell him to get in touch with you. Well, this is my responsibility. Hi, it's Morgan. Well, he looks a bit it looks like, a like this puppy needs creepy. a new home. Do you want to adopt him? Oh well, cheers for your help, Morgan. Uh, Boy, yeah. I'm sure the two of you will get along in no time. Check Morgan. So I think the uh, tips or for more companions. Have a nice day. Okay. Thanks, Morgan. Cheers, thanks for your help. Oh, he's got a little hat. <laughs> he's got a little paper hat. Uh. <laughs> Um, place? Are you are you my little fuzzy friend now? He's tiny. I don't quite know what sort of dog he is. He's got a little hat though. Oh, check this out. So I can. So his name is Rex. He's a Pomeranian. So I think this is random, guys. Like you'll have to let me know in the comments below. Like, do you did you get a different animal when you did this job? I think it's like a random choice. I'm guessing it's always going to be a dog, but maybe the breeds are random. So Pomeranians are a combination of beauty, intelligence, and willingness to explore the world. They are great traveling buddies. These athletic dogs are loyal and will make an animal lover happy. It's not very athletic. He's a bit sort of dumpy looking. So his personality is he's neat, energetic, stubborn, and a rascal. He definitely looks like a rascal. So can I like... Oh, I've got an arm. <laughs> I've got another arm. My arms are, are they dirty or is that just hair? Oh, that's pretty cute. So we can pick him up and we can swing him around like he's Simba or whatever his name was out of the Lion King. Um okay. Well, hold on, we've got jobs to do, but we just want to play with you for a minute. Follow me around. Give give a treat. Oh, look at this. Will you come get it? I'm too cute! Too cute! Okay, right. Can we get him to do stuff? Can we get him to go... Will he go down the stairs if I yeet it down the stairs? No. Good dog. Good dog. You stay there. Don't you? Don't use the stairs. Okay, so I can pick those back up again. Yeah, you stay. Good decision, Rex. Okay. Let's see if we can... 
So how far will he go? Will he come all over here? He's obviously can sniff it out. Oh, that is pretty cute. I have to say that is pretty cute. Fetch. Oh, no way. Let's go out in the garden, Rex. Yeah, bring that ball. <laughs> the ball's massive. Come on, Rex. You can do it. Can we? Can you come down the stairs? Come on, Rexy. Come on, little Rexy. Right, can we? Maybe we? Maybe we pick this up, and we'll pick you up. Pick up. So yeah, I'm. I'm guessing it like, comes with us when we leave the house. I'm assuming. I just want to play with you now, my little friend. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny. I'd be a bit worried about the lawnmower. Having the lawnmower out. Oh, that's not the right button. Right, let's do this again. Let's let's just check out the casual tug of war first. Oh, that's not it. Casual tug of war. Oh my Oh god, there's a bloody great big eagle! Don't you come down and get my Rexy. See him off, Rex. You see him off. Right, where's Oh, there's all kinds of gubbins going on. Oh, that's pretty cool. The train's coming past. Right, I don't understand how to make this work. <laughs> casual. It's casual. It's a... It's a casual tug of war. He's distracted by the train. So I need to crouch. Oh, he's going to sleep. You're not dead, are you, Rex? Rex? Okay. We, we, we're doing casual tug of war right now. Okay, maybe casual tug of war isn't a thing at the moment. Or well, he's just not that keen on it. Uh, I don't know what the difference between casual tug of war and normal tug of war is. Oh, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Get some! Oh my god. Yeah, you've got some power, little guy. Alright, let's, let's, go, let's go finish our job. Because we're running out of time. So this is going to be 15 minutes. Right, quick, come with. Um, follow. Uh, oh, maybe he's automatically on follow. I think maybe he is. Oh, look at that little dude. Right. Okay. This. I'll. I'll. You just be. Yeah. You be doing. You be doing. You. Come. 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 <laughs> come. Come. Maybe I need to pick you up. Uh, pick up. Okay. Let's try and at least get this first job done, eh, Rex? You're very much a distraction in my world. Right, put you down. Some sort of thing come up here as well. So let's let's clear. Let's finish clearing up. You can you can um, help out. Try not to do any poos. Is that blood? So there's like pigeons or something behind this behind this uh, whatever this is. Dispose. Oh, they've pooed everywhere. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Don't don't you get any ideas? Thanks, pigeons. Cheers. Um, okay, so let's. I think we've got to clean this window as well. Everyone's favourite cleaning mechanic. Clean this up. I'm a little bit worried about that bloody great big eagle outside. Bunnies are very lively animals and need lots of space to have fun. Who the who who the hell are you, Morgan? Do we know who you are? You seem to have a mouse on your shoulder as well now. Um, yeah, free roam, bunny enclosure. Okay, good. Uh, okay, yeah. So I'm a bit rusty, but so let's put a door in here. So this, uh, this is an. I think this is a new mechanic. External. No, this isn't a new mechanic, is it? This is existing. Right, you can go out there. There's a bit of cobweb up there still. We'll try and finish this job, guys. I know I said 15 minutes, but we'll try and finish this job at least. I want so, so I wonder if he just like makes mess. Clean. I still got some dirt showing. Like that would be pretty cool. Like if he if he does make like muddy footprints or something. I don't see the rest of the thing that says is muddy. That there's dirt here. I've got 97%. Is it you? Get broomed. 
Oh, there we go. Right. So, Bexy Bunny House. So, this is going to be like an office by the looks of it. Oh, this is pretty cute. So, this is one of the new, this is one of the new objects. Let's put that there. Yeah, okay, so I don't know if we I don't know if at some point maybe we see the pets interacting with these objects, but obviously in this situation I'm assuming we're gonna finish the job and leave and then never actually see that get used, but um so let's finish this off. Do, 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 do. So you're just gonna like follow me around. Can I just tell you to stay? Maybe I just tell you to sleep. Yeah, so that's like a toggle. Okay, that makes sense. You stay there. Stay. Stay. Um two of these poof things. And we'll have a little kind of He's not staying. Kinda of wandering around. I don't know. We just we'll just kind of arrange this in a little bit of a thing. Usually, I tend to try and just like get all of the furniture out and see what it looks like. Because sometimes, in, especially in the jobs, you have like too much to put down, and you have to kind of work out where it's going to fit. Oh, I, hang on, that does actually say bun. Oh no, that's just that bunny. Stick. Can we stick that on there? Right, we'll put that put that guy down there. So I haven't quite worked out yet whether. Like, like, do we go, maybe we go to a shop, maybe we can go to a shop and do something with this doggy. Like, or is this dog just ours now forever? Oh, oh, okay, we can put that on the beam, nice. Quite, you're quite noisy there, Rex, quite panty. I think there's going to be, I'm assuming that there is some like looking after them that you have to do. It's looking quite cool. Mountable air conditioner. Did I not already do that? Or is that just the mount? All oh, right, yeah. So let's get this done. Been a long time since I've done this, as I haven't played for a while. So, but yeah, I thought I'd jump in and check this out. There's a few. There's definitely a few new mechanics. I know there's a. As I said, there's been some uncertainty as to why we're getting pets and then we're getting farm animals. Um, personally, I don't really mind. I think it's just anything that's kind of a new mechanic or a new kind of interest to in the game. As long as we continue to get the core cool things like new houses, I think it just is all good. I mean, it's pretty unusual. You've got to remember this game came out in 2018 on PC, so to still be getting to still be getting new DLCs four years after a game came out is pretty unusual. Let's stick that coffee table bit over, kind of over there. I don't know. Then we got a chest. I think we'll go with that in the brown. Uh, oh, we've got another rug. Okay, let's just go with a little small something, something over here. Right, so that's that d done. Do you want to? Do you want to come down? Um, pick up. I kind of really want to see what happens when I leave and we could finish this job now because I think we're at the point but maybe there's a little bit to do down here. Yeah. Place. Okay, so let's just tidy this up a little a touch. Get this bad boy sorted out and then we've got a couple of bits and pieces by the looks of it to buy here. Never a big fan of these sofas. I think they're always a bit oversized. Oh, he stopped panting. Rexy? Oh, he's asleep. <gasps> he's sleeping. I wonder if their legs twitch, like they're having a little dream. Looks a bit. It looks a bit dead. But I think he's okay. I think he's okay. Don't worry about him. Oh, he's awake again. Is that it? Is that what you said? 
<laughs> we did. Hmm, that's that is horrible. That thing. Don't know what that is. Well, I think we I think we might be done, Rex. Oh, I've completed eighty eight percent. Is there another room that I haven't done then? That one's done. That one's done. Kitchen's done. What have we not done, Rexy? I don't. I can't see what we haven't done. Did we? Oh, hang on. There's more stuff at the back here. Clean dirt. So, oh, hold on. What's going on here then? So there's something else back here as well. It's like a duff, a dove cot. Done. Right, let's go. Back to our office. My office is a mess. But I, want to, I just kind of want to see what happens. Does he come with us? I'm assuming he comes with us. Yeah, so here he is. So he just lives with us now. Let's tidy up this this crap. Right, so that's it, guys. That's it for the first one. That's the first 20 minutes or something of this. Um, I will be checking out more. I probably will do... I'm going to do a few more uh, videos on the mechanics and stuff. Uh, do let me know if you're interested in this one. It will be coming out... Oh, I think it's coming out in a couple of days. 13th, I think, is the release date. So I've got it, the, uh, the access. So, um, yeah, if that's wrong, I'll put something on the screen to say it is. Thanks very much for watching, peeps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next